Used car dealerships like CarMax and Carvana are selling you vehicles that have been in accidents and they're not telling you about it. Here's how they're getting away with it. OB, Juan Kenobi, please hold me, don't show me, OB. All right, what's up, y'all? I am back with another CarMax video, and not because I love making CarMax videos so much. It's because these videos bring in a lot of traffic, all right? I make a video about uh, CarMax, gets a lot of views, get new subscribers and stuff like that. So let's be honest, this is what we're doing another CarMax video for. But I also want to be fair, because this is a good rule of thumb for any used car dealership, all right? Not just CarMax, not just Carvana. This is a good rule of thumb for all used car dealerships. It's something that you should really pay attention to when you're shopping for a new used vehicle, okay? Um, and I'm using CarMax as the main example because they are by far the largest dealership, all right? They've got the biggest in brand recognition, all that stuff, and they're doing this just as much as other used car dealerships. So it's it's fair to use them because they're, again, the biggest and they're doing the same stuff. Uh, but I would be lying if I didn't say that I, uh, if I said that I didn't use the CarMax name to get more clicks, because I am. But it is what it is, just being honest with you. So moving on. What this video is going to explain is how car is how car dealerships, including CarMax, including Carvana, how they sell you cars that have been in accidents and then they advertise them as accident free. All right. And I want to be careful when I talk about that because they're not necessarily advertising them as accident free, but they're just kind of not reporting it to you. OK, so. Uh, I'm going to share some pointers. So I want you to, I'm going to explain how they do this to you, but then I'm also going to show you some pointers. I'm going to show you some things that you can look for to spot these vehicles that have been damaged, these vehicles that have been in accidents. Um, but the first question we're going to answer is how can a dealership sell a vehicle that's been in an accident without telling you that it's been in an accident? Uh, and th the honest answer is it's a loophole. Right? That's all it is. There's a loophole that allows these car companies to not have to explain this to you. Um, and to understand this, what you have to think about is what is an accident, right? When you or I think of an accident, it's pretty obvious to us, right? We think it means that it's been a car has been run into or it was, you know, it ran into something, has been run into, was vandalized, whatever. There was damage that occurred to the car. Right. That's what is obvious to you and I. Damage occurred and a body shop had to fix that damage. That's what a lot of us would consider an accident. Right. Um, but places like CarMax and dealerships, uh, they just see this as kind of a gray area. They don't. This is because in the auto sales world, an accident is not an accident unless it was reported. This is the. This is what it comes down to is all in the reporting. So what typically happens when there is a car accident is both both uh, parties of the accident, they're going to file a police report. Uh, then fault is going to be established and the insurance companies, uh, they're going to do which, what insurance companies do, which is usually argue with the body shops about how the work is going to be done. Uh, but then now most of those cars are scarred for life uh, and they're less valuable now because they had an accident reported on them. Uh, and that's the standard process, right? Accident happens, it gets reported, police reports, insurance filings, all that stuff. Car is now left with that tarnished, uh, it's going to have that accident. Basically on the the car facts and the insurance reportings, all that stuff, it's, it's scarred for life is the way to look at it. Now, the key word here is reported, okay? Because if a car was in an accident, um, or what I should say is a car... Tech, not technically, but the way the used car world sees it is that a car was not in an accident unless it was reported. So nothing happened to this vehicle unless there was a report. Okay. Now there's a big difference here because this, this is where it gets a little uh, confusing, right? Because it, if you're somebody looking for a vehicle, you care about the vehicle being in an accident in a different way than say the insurance company would. You care about the vehicle potentially being in an accident because that's safety concerns. That's, you know, will the body, will the body shop that did the work, did they do a good job? Will that paint job hold up? Stuff like that. You have different concerns, but more focused around the value of the vehicle and less so much about what the insurance and all that has to say about it. Anyway, so reported, that's what I want you to remember. 
a vehicle accident has to be reported in order for a used car dealership to even mention it during the sales process. And there are a bunch of ways that a vehicle can be in an accident and not be reported. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, how can a vehicle get in an accident and not be reported? We got to think of like, especially in Nebraska, all across the Midwest, there's icy roads. When it, when it snows during the winter time, you have icy road conditions, and there are a large amount of accidents that end up happening that don't get reported. People who slide into guardrails, into a ditch, into a pole, whatever, these are just single individual accidents that happen, and people will probably just get back on the road, continue throughout their day, and not worry about it. They're not going to report it to the police. They're not going to report it to their insurance because they don't want their premiums to go up, stuff like that. So that's just one way they could go um, or that they can get damaged. And then you also have like uh, angry ex, right? Angry ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, vandalism, repoed cars. Th this was another one, and I've actually seen this in the past. There are a lot of repo cars in companies like Carvana and CarMax, and people don't treat these cars very well. What the repo ends up happening you default on a loan, they come pick it up. A lot of the times, if they know that that car's, you know, if they're going to lose that car, they just beat the crap out of it. So they don't care. Carvana, CarMax, and other we work with low credit type dealerships, they give these, you know, they, they end up, uh, they give super high interest loans to people who don't really have a great history of paying their bills. Right. I mean, people like me up until about five years ago. But anyway, they give them this loan. They get the car. They can't afford the payment. And, you know, they get their car repoed and it ends up back at the dealership. And a lot of people just stop caring about that car. Like I said, they stop caring about the car as soon as they know it's going to be recollected. So, I, like I said, I have seen some repos come back in rough shape. Sometimes it's almost just like the principle of the matter. They're pissed because they want to, you know, their car's being picked up or the bank's telling them that they're going to take it back. So they just beat the crap out of the car, break the windows and stuff like that. But the point is, there are a lot more unreported damaged cars out there than you think. There are a lot of them on the road. And a lot of them, there it really is no different than the reported ones when it comes to the severity of the damage. And some are even worse. Some vehicles, they're damaged so bad, um, it ends up being called a total loss or when it's called total doubt. You might have heard about that. And what that is, it's really, it's when a vehicle gets in an accident so bad that the insurance company has made the determination that it's it would cost too much to fix that vehicle, that it's more than the vehicle's worth. And to me, unless you really know the ins and outs of how a vehicle works or body shop and repair, to me, it's not worth it because you just don't know if that vehicle has been fixed in a way that it's safe for the road again. I've seen some real hack job type work out there where people were replacing, like not replacing the airbags properly. They would stuff it with something and seal the, uh, basically the bag. They would put some kind of adhesive on it, some glue to seal it down. No, no airbag anymore. All right. And that's highly illegal, by the way, but I've actually seen it done in the past. Now, if something like that was somehow fixed and put on a car dealership and not reported, that would be bad news, right? But that's exactly what's happening. Because when it comes to when it comes to a vehicle being in an accident, they don't care unless it's been reported. So a car like that that should have been totaled out has a clean title with no accidents reported. It could be damaged from front to back, but still the the still the dealership is going to say that this vehicle had no accidents reported. Um, but, you know, you, you still paid more for it because it, it's a clean title, right? So here's why all of this is really important. It's not just because you want a safe ride that hasn't been in an accident, although arguably that's probably more important than what I'm about to say. But people that are doing these inspections, these pre-sale inspections on vehicles, they know that it's had body work done. But they they hide behind that veil of no accidents reported. Okay, so anybody with a trained eye, if you're doing inspections at a dealership, you should be able to spot when a vehicle has had body work done. It's not actually that difficult. Um, and if it were an honest dealership, upon that inspection of the inventory, they might say, you know, oh, darn it. I mean, this car has been an accident and it should be marked as previously repaired damage. That's exactly what should happen. There should be a category that says this is previously repaired damage and it should be dis not discontinued, but it should be discounted, right? It should not be sold at full price if they found a vehicle that has previously repaired damage. Instead, they say, oh, goody, this car 
was obviously in an accident, but it wasn't reported. So we don't have to discount anything, right? <laughs> we don't have to take shit off the price. Now, the funny part is when you go back to that same dealership a year or two later to trade your car in, what they're going to do is give you less. Why? Well, because your vehicle was in an accident, right? They'll they'll mark the stuff down on the trade in value inspection. Be like, yep, this fender was this fender was painted. Uh, oh, I see some bondo here under the paint. Sorry, ma'am, this car was previously in an accident. It had body work done. I'm going to have to give you less on that, right? It doesn't seem fair, does it? Then after you trade it in, uh, you know they're going to turn around and park it back out on the lot and tell the next customer that this is a clean title right here, no accidents reported. And that's that vicious cycle. So you'll get less for it when you go to trade it back in because it has obvious body work done to it and it's obviously been damaged, it's obviously been in a wreck, but then they'll put it back out on the lot under that uh, no accidents reported line and not take anything off of the value of the car. Um, so let's take a look at it, some stuff here. Let's take a look at it, some stuff here. Let's take a look at some stuff over here. Believe it or not, um, this used to be a bigger problem. On CarMax.com, we're just going to look up a 2019 Ford Flex. I'm going to show you where to go for the inspection right here. History and inspection. So under the history, uh, I mean, right off the top, it's showing one owner, no flood or frame damage, no odometer problems. We're going to view the history report. And right here. Accident damage, no accidents or damage reported. Again, we're seeing the word reported. This changed because companies like Carfax, I think that's the biggest one, the Carfax Carfox, right? That was the biggest one. They were running into issue because they weren't reporting all states. And not only that, websites like these were, they used to use the verbiage that there were no accidents. So it basically used to say, this car is accident free when that wasn't necessarily the case. So they had to change the verbiage to no accidents uh, or damage reported, okay? Uh, now, if you go scroll down a little bit more, it's very careful to say, auto check has not received any accident or damage related events from government sources, independent agencies, or auction sources. Not all damage related events are reported to auto check. It is recommended to have pre-owned vehicles inspected by a third party prior to purchase. Now, the kicker on that is that a third party is expensive and CarMax is not going to pay for that. If you say that you want to take your vehicle to a mechanic or a body shop, CarMax will say, no, we do a 125 point inspection on our own. So we're not going to pay for that third party to inspect your vehicle that we're actually recommending on our website. So that's going to come out of pocket for you if you decide to get that done. Now what we're going to do is take a look at some photos. I'm going to show you what to look for. So this first photo is just a good example of some stuff that you can find underneath of the paint. When you see any rough patches, I'm going to bring the pin in for this. When you see any rough patches like you see right along here, just right what I'm circling, you can see the pitting. All right, that is indicative of a paint job. And why do you want to look for a paint job? Well, 100% of the time, if a vehicle's had paint work done to it outside of the factory, that means it's had some kind of a damage to it. And if you can find spots like this all over the vehicle um, and other things that I'm going to point out to you, then that probably tells you that the vehicle's been painted. And if you've got large surfaces of this vehicle that's been painted, then most likely it's had large amounts of damage done to it. Let's take a look at the next picture. Uh, this is actually one that it's going to be too late by the time you really find out. But if you do see a vehicle that does have this cracking, all of this stuff right down here, boom, you can see the cracks, all of this stuff. This is cracking out because the Bondo or the plastic filler that's underneath the paint isn't holding up. So the body's tweaking all that stuff and this stuff is starting to crack. And that's going to cause big issues because when you start getting water in there, this is going to rust out. So you're going to get water, moisture, all kinds of stuff behind there. The cracking is going to get worse. Eventually, that plastic filler is going to fall out and you're going to have nothing but rust spots there. But if you see anything that's starting to crack like that, again, that's another sign that the vehicle has been painted. Now, this is another very good example of a vehicle that's been painted. What you see, I mean, we're just looking at all of these little... They look like little scratches, but they're not those clear scratches that you see on the surface of a paint job. These are actually deep and they look like they're underneath the clear coat. What that is, 
is somebody used sandpaper to, you know, they'll use, they'll use that plastic filler or that Bondo that we're talking about, and they'll use sandpaper to flatten it out. So they cover a dent, they put plastic, you know, they cover a dent or fill it with plastic filler, then use sandpaper to smooth it down. Now, if they use a sandpaper that's too coarse, when they put that that base coat and the clear coat on it, it's going to swell up and you'll be able to see those scratches on the surface. And that's exactly what you're seeing here, which is all of these scratches, that that's a clear indicator right there that a paint job's been done, right? And that is what we call swells. That is the the scratches from the, the sandpaper. I'm <laughs> stuttering here. The scratches from the sandpaper that end up swelling and they're visible from the clear coat. So it just looks like a bunch of scratches underneath the coat of the paint. All right, and in this last picture, we've got another little area right here. And what this is, is a chip in the paint. Usually when you see a chip in the paint, it's gonna be metal. It might have cut deep enough that you actually see a little bit of rust. But most of the time, that chip in the paint, that little scuff is not gonna be the same color as the vehicle. So you can tell that somebody didn't sand that down and it was just painted over. So this is another indicator that it's been painted because you see a chip in the paint that has the color match to it. So this was either a little spot check, but to me it looks like the roof was painted and they just didn't really sand the clear coat finish down right there. Another indicator right there. If you see any painted in chips in the vehicle's paint, another indicator that it might've been painted. And that's all. I mean, that pretty much wraps it up. So just be careful out there when it comes to these used car dealerships. Know what you're getting yourself into. I've also added a video for you to check out, which is the Fast Lane with Joe. It's a helpful video. He gives a great example of what to do on a vehicle walk around, what to look for before purchasing a vehicle. So check that out and be a doll, like the video, or be a god and subscribe to the channel after liking the video. You made this. You're awesome. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus.